The invert adjustment is an interesting adjustment and has a lot of tricks in its sleeve which can be used to enhance our photos. In this video, we will take a glimpse at the power of the invert adjustment. First, let's start by duplicating our image layer using the Command or Ctrl J shortcut. Now that we have a copy, let's apply the invert adjustment to it by using the adjustments icon from the layers panel. I'll also drag and drop the invert adjustment to the duplicated layer so that it will only apply to this layer. Excellent! We now have an inverted version of our image. If we now average this inverted image with the original image, we should get a grey feel. To understand what is happening, let's take a look at this animation I have created. By averaging the RGB values with the inverted RGB values, we get a value just in the middle of each channel, resulting in mid-grey. Let's set the blend mode of the duplicate back to normal and group the invert adjustment. We can now use the average trick on the group. However, instead of using the average blend mode, I'll use the normal blend mode with 50% opacity, which is basically the same as the average blend mode. We now have a neutral grey layer, which we can blend in with the original image located below. As you might know, neutral grey has no effect with the overlay or the soft light blend mode. If we now add a Gaussian blur on top of the invert adjustment and increase the blur radius, notice how we get a high pass like result, which is perfect to sharpen the image. Because of the blur we added, not all pixels have an exact inverted value. The pixels touched by the Gaussian blur will have a different inverted value and will actually show up in the grey image we had before. As mentioned, this is ideal for sharpening. If I change the blend mode of the parent image to overlay, we got ourselves a nice sharpen effect. Let me zoom in so you can see the difference much better. So this is one way you can use the invert adjustment, but there is a lot more we can do. Let's set the parent layer back to normal blend mode and remove the Gaussian blur. Instead of applying the invert group in normal blend mode with 50% opacity, which cancels everything to neutral gray, we can use the color blend mode. This will keep the luminosity, but cancel the colors, resulting in a perfect grayscale image. And this is where things get very interesting. This grayscale conversion fails when the image has oversaturated colors. Let's copy our group and switch to another image. When we paste the group, notice how we don't get a grayscale image. The colors that are oversaturated cannot be compensated by the inversion colors, resulting in this semi-gray image. We can now clearly see that the red on the lips and the yellow on the background are oversaturated and coming through in the gray image. So how can we use this information to perfectly desaturate the image? Well, we actually need to subtract the resulting colors from the original. To keep things simple, let me first make a duplicate of the original and move the group to the duplicate. To keep the colors and remove everything in black and white, I'm going to add a fill layer with neutral gray. When we apply this in luminosity blend mode, everything without color will become neutral gray. Before we can subtract the colors from the original image, we first need to get rid of the grey values, for which we can use another fill layer in neutral grey, but this time in subtract blend mode. We are now left with only the oversaturated colors. When we now subtract this using the subtract blend mode, let's see what happens. Awesome! we remove the saturated colors. 
I think this might be even the perfect way to desaturate oversaturated colors as it only targets the saturated colors. For example, if we try to desaturate with an HSO adjustment, we also impact the non-saturated colors, like the color on the skin, which also contains a lot of red and yellow. Let me group these adjustments and copy them so I can use it on a different image. I will duplicate the image layer, paste the group I just copied and move it as a child of the duplicate. When we now apply this in Subtract Blend Mode, notice how only the red flower and a bit of the lips are modified. The rest of the red stay the same. When I try to do this with an HSL adjustment, all the reds are affected. Another cool feature of this trick is that you don't need to guess how much you need to desaturate. With an HSL adjustment, you need to find the right desaturation value. Even though this works quite well, we can get the same result with fewer steps, which might feel like magic. I'm going to hide the current layer and start over by adding an invert adjustment again. Let's average it by setting the opacity to 50%, which results, as we know by now, to a neutral gray image. Instead of averaging everything, let's average it based on the luminosity by changing the blend melt of the invert adjustment to luminosity. Interesting. If we now group the adjustment, we can apply the output we have right now in a different blend mode. Because we have averaged the luminosities, the color saturation should also be balanced. Let's test this out by setting the blend mode of the group to saturation. Didn't expect that, did you? We actually corrected the oversaturation just like with the previous method. Pretty amazing. The cool part of this method is that you can copy this group and apply it very easily to another image. Here we go. This way too oversaturated image gets fixed in a second. Instead of fixing oversaturation, we could also actually use it to boost the colors. In this image, I will repeat the same steps, add the invert adjustment, set it to luminosity blend mode, Average it by setting the opacity to 50% and then group it. However, this time I will use the soft lined blend mode for the group, which gives a nice boost to the colors. Pretty awesome. We still have the oversaturation on the dress, but we know how to fix that. I'll duplicate the group and change the blend mode of the group to saturation. There you go. That fixed the oversaturated red dress in the image. The before and the after. Not bad at all by using only one simple adjustment. Here are some other variations using the invert adjustment creatively. If this video will get 100,000 views, I'll make a follow up video explaining all these other cool tricks. Here is a quick preview. If you have an overexposed image, just like this one, we can bring in some color and contrast just by using an invert adjustment with some creative blending. When I collapse all the groups, you can see that the base and the only adjustment is the invert adjustment. To finish up with the starting image, just using the invert adjustment creatively, I can transform the image to this. Pretty awesome. Thanks again for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. Hit the like and subscribe buttons if you did. Don't forget to spread the word to get this video to 100,000 views. Until the next video.